and the king returns. Have you ever gotten your news from Snapchat? It is, it's, it's quite the experience. Usually they're bad, but then sometimes Snapchat gives you the golden gift of an absolute golden story. And oh boy, did they, did they deliver today. This video's been out for like a week now, but I, I can't in good conscience ignore it. I, of course, I'm talking about the cop acorn video. I'm sure most people have seen this video by now, but I kind of want to go in depth, kind of looking at every single thing that happened in that video, because it is, when you slow it down, it really is more incredible than you could possibly think. And if you somehow have not seen this video, Buckle up, Buster. You are in for a ride. So a quick synopsis of the story. Basically, this officer in Florida, because, you know, of course, was making an arrest. And we get to watch the body cam footage as the man is in the car. The suspect is handcuffed in the car, so, you know, no way of getting out. And the cop starts walking around the car when he hears a noise. Something dangerous. It wasn't dangerous. It was an acorn falling on the roof of his car. But... He didn't think it was an acorn, he thought it was a gunshot, which led to ar what is arguably one of the most insane turn of events I have ever seen in my life. But let's, let's look at it just piece by piece. Buckle up, Buster, it's time to dive in. All right, so we're gonna stop it right there for a second. Did you hear it? Did you hear the acorn fall? You get, listen very, very closely. Wow. I mean, I, you can't blame the guy, right? I mean, it, it sounds uncanny. So basically, the guy is walking around and he hears what he thought to be a gunshot from the acorn that we can't even hear on the audio recording, which is... I, I, I mean, it's amazing. It really is amazing that somebody could confuse that with a gunshot. No less an officer who I'm sure has had experience firing guns. I'm sure that's part of their training. And who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the audio didn't pick up the the impact the acorn had, but at the same time, what are you doing, man? Just fire! Just fire! <laughs> that's, that's, that's my favorite part of the video, by the way. Immediately after missing his near-death experience, he decided to do some absolutely stellar Dark Souls rules to, you know, avoid the gunfire, which kind of confuses me. I don't know if that's part of training, or I don't know if he just decided to do some tumbles to go back to his elementary school gymnastic days. They just don't make sense to me. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he did too, but out of all the mistakes that are done in this video, I think that those rules I mean, surely he's got to get a medal for that. It's at this point where everything goes buck wild within a couple seconds. Shots fired! You know <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's just beautiful. By the way, the only reason that this is funny is because nobody was seriously hurt. Maybe, well, actually, no, that's not true. Maybe the officer was, was seriously hurt when he fell over doing those tumbles. But apart from that, everybody was fine, so you can laugh along with me. So immediately after the acorn, immediately after doing two Dark Souls rolls, he then goes to the car, aims his gun at the car, where he has a handcuffed man, a man who could probably not even scratch his nose if he wanted to. And his appropriate response to what is obviously a, a near-death experience is to shoot at the man in the car. <laughs> but that's not even the most crazy part about the entire thing, is that he unloads his gun, his entire mag, into the back of his own patrol vehicle. And then at the end, at the very end, he says, I'm hit, I'm hit, <laughs> and I don't... Uh... This dude. What? <laughs> what was that? Well, let's back it up a second. <laughs> and that's pretty much where the uh, the main video ends. I'm, there is another angle of it that I would like to show you too, just to kind of show how ridiculous it is. But as a recap, Acorn, two rolls, Unload a mag, fake injury. This is a guy that I would trust with my life to protect and serve my country and my county. I don't know what's going on in Okaloosa County, but you guys got to do some investigation and in what you put in the water down there because you you guys you guys got some poisoning of some kind. So that was the event from his own body camp, but he also had a partner that was on scene who got a very different angle of the entire encounter. And even though it's a little bit shaky, it just it gives you a glimpse of just how ridiculous the entire situation is. What? What? Oh. There, right there. Jesse! Jesse, are you okay? Get in the house! Get in the house! Jesse! Get back, get back! Where is he? Where is he? 
there you have it, folks. So from the other angle of the other cop, it just makes this already Looney Tunes situation even more ridiculous. It looks like he's fighting his own, like, shadow. You know when you were kids and you used to play, like, war and stuff like that? You'd go out with your friend and be like, oh, watch your six, go your corner, blah, blah, blah. You know, the stuff like that. Let's all be serious here. It's basically that, but he had a real gun. It looks like he was playing pretend cop by himself. And it's so bizarre to watch from another angle. By the way, and I feel like this goes without saying, and I'm sure you could probably guess by now, this guy resigned. He's not, he's not, he's not an officer anymore, and I doubt that he will be in the future, because this is going to be a really tough thing to explain on your resume. So, you uh, left the police department, and you want to become a cop here. May I ask, uh, why? Acorns, man, acorns. Needless to say, I think that any kind of future employment with this guy, even without being a cop, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. It's gonna be really tough having water cooler conversations while everybody knows that you are the acorn cop. That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a tough thing to have on your, uh, on your shoulder. It's gonna be a tough tile to carry. And you know, I was wondering, just how did this guy become a cop? How did this entire situation happen? Because, I mean, at least you, I mean, I don't really know, but you'd hope when you become a cop that you have to go through some pretty rigorous training and a fairly decent background check. I mean, you have to have a, you know, at the, at the very bare minimum gun safety, which was not displayed here today. And I was wondering how could this situation unfold? What, what, what could have happened? And then it kind of hit me out of the blue before I started clicking that record video. I know exactly how this happened. You see, my dear friends, this all took place in Florida, the great and mighty state. And if we know anything about Florida, it is the Florida man. It is a very common occurrence where basically you look up Florida man, you go to news and there's always the most absurd article about a Florida man doing something. Florida man having sex with a crocodile. Florida man eats an entire Arby's menu and then fights a cop. Crazy stuff like that. And that sounds like a crazy exaggeration. And I did make those up on the top of my head, but I wouldn't doubt if those actually existed. And that's exactly why this doesn't surprise me as much anymore. Because, dear friends, if you have the Florida man, you're gonna have the Florida police force, who is also a Florida- I mean, this man, he is a man, he is from Florida, he fits the description. That's- that's something that people haven't really considered. These Florida men, some of them are in seats of power, with the ability to kill. And I think we just got our first real taste of what a Florida man in power can do. And it's not pretty. It is not a pretty sight to see at all. Watching the acorn video of the cop, it reminds me of this one scene from Family Guy where Stewie finds the pornographic magazine and then just unloads an AR-15 into it. That's not even too far away from what happened in this video, which is kind of shocking. This seems like a South Park episode. It's, uh, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. You just can't make that. It's. What's happening? The streets of Okaloosa County can rest easy knowing that this man is no longer protecting and serving their county. But they need to start thinking hard. And we all need to start thinking hard. If there's one Florida man out there who can do damage like this, are there others? What else can they do? And at the end of the day, are we safe? Well, I guess we're gonna have to find out when the next acorn drops. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, if indeed you still are. My name is Broxter, and I bid you all Adieu.